In this video, we're going to take a look at Atlassian Stride, uh, their competitor to Slack. That's going to give you the ability to have group chat and direct messaging and voice and video conferencing and all the collaboration that we always recommend that your company as a tech smart boss that you need to have in your company. So stay tuned. We're going to set up a brand new account and kind of walk through the Stride interface. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today we're going to talk about Atlassian Stride. This is their Slack competitor. Even though you could say that they were in the game before Slack with HipChat, uh, which they purchased, and then this kind of replaces HipChat. Uh, not exactly, it's different, but I'm going to just say for the purpose of this video it does. Uh, I'm a, you know, we're a big user of, of Slack, so check out my other videos on that. You can listen to our podcast. We talked about how our business uses Slack, um, but I'm always looking for something new, and Stride has a nice interface, seems to have all the kind of features of Slack, similar pricing. Uh, if you pay, then you get things like unlimited apps and unlimited message history and group screen sharing. They also have remote desk control, desktop control, which is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and sign up and see how this looks and works, and um, I'll show you as I do it. So I'm going to go ahead log in with my tech smart boss information you know one of the things that i really like about slack is the amount of integrations that they have so that's going to be interesting to see how many integrations stride has created let's go ahead and create a new team tech smart boss it's checking me out i'm good create my team and uh, they have downloads that you could do for all of your major uh, OSs and, 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 and on your mobile. So that looks very similar to um, Slack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, go out there and click their link to confirm I'm a real person, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and the first thing it wants me to do is set a password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a password. And I don't want to save that into my browser. And this should, let's see what their onboarding experience is going to be like. Now I'm on the, the browser. Normally I would say I would want to download and do this uh, from their Mac app. Let's continue through the browser and see how this goes. Okay, welcome to Stride. I'm in there. They're going to show me around a little bit. So let's, let's see what it does. First thing it wants is my organization's name. Okay, that's great. And who can sign up? Very similar to Slack, only people invited by the administrator. I'm going to go ahead and put that because I like to invite people explicitly. Uh, I could pick an avatar. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I can't upload at this point my own icon, my own logo, which is interesting, but maybe I'll be able to do that later. I'm going to go ahead and pick this because it looks a little bit like the rocket in our logo. Let's hit next. And I'm in their main interface now where it says I can create rooms. Uh, and this again looks very similar to Slack where I can say what I'm working on. That's nice, nice touch. Pick my status, put a unique status there if I want. Let's go ahead and create a room. I'm just gonna call it the water cooler. Okay, you can make private rooms, which is great. Let's create a room and see how that works. All right, I can explore some apps, got it add some people. Let's take a look at their apps because that's one of the key things that I wanted. So you can add apps per room, which is interesting. It's kind of with Slack, you get, you add your app and you kind of can assign it to a room. So now this is what they have available in terms of apps. Marker, Standup Bot, Outlook Calendar, AWS, Joint, OB. Um, so they're definitely got some interesting apps here. Definitely not as many apps as you have with uh, Slack, but this is not necessarily integration. So I'll look in, in their settings to see what else we could do. It so looks like I can upload files. I've got things I could highlight. I've got meetings I could do. The people that are in here. Let's go ahead and type a message. See what kind of things I could do here. I can attach a file, mention a person, insert an emoji. Of course, you have to have your emojis when you're doing this kind of stuff. Create a decision. This is interesting. Something different there. Hello or goodbye. I don't know. Let's just put a choice and see if I create a decision, what that'll do. Well, not quite sure what that does. Create an action. OK, 
Okay, this is a checklist, looks like. Interesting. So there's a couple different things I could do there. Formatting tips, I'll get some help later. Let's go ahead and go into settings. Let's see what I can do under here. So list sorting, notifications, admin, profile, set up my profile, okay. Nothing big there. Let's view all the admin settings. See all the things that we can potentially do in Stride. All right, so I can set up users, of course. I can set up groups. Uh, I can grant application access. We kind of saw the applications that they have there. Sign up, organizational information, okay, filling, discover apps. I guess there are apps, are there integrations? So I'm going to say just as I kind of expected, Looks like they have some great integrations with their own apps at this point, but I'm not seeing a lot of integration with other apps. That, that, that That's really the power of Slack for me is all the things that I can integrate in with that. So I'm going to have to do some more digging on that. Let's see what this little icon here. I can add on the chat with a teammate, create a room, invite people. So I would say this, this looks like a good start. looks like a little mini Slack. Um, the only thing I would say it's missing at this point is a lot of the integrations that you get uh, with Slack. And that's with any company that is kind of not the leader. Everybody builds their integration with the leader initially, and that's going to be Slack. Uh, so I think if more people adopt Stride more than just the people who are using the Atlassian products, then Stride will probably get a lot of those integrations as well. So something to consider, something to check out. Uh, but hopefully... This gives you a little bit of knowledge about Stride that you may not have had before, and you can sign up for your own account and take a deeper look. Let's see what Add a Custom App is. And I'm, I'm suspecting that this is where they've probably got, yeah, this is if you're a developer. It doesn't look necessarily that I can do some web hooks and, and build my own sort of apps there. So that's something to consider there. But definitely if you're not as big on the on the integrations and you're just looking for a really nice chat environment and you don't like slack for whatever reason you're just contrarian you don't like the leader in the industry definitely take a look at stride it looks pretty nice in terms of interface and functionality uh, so if you like this video leave a comment first of all tell us what you think about slack versus stride um, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see our future videos and also check out techsmartboss.com and our Facebook page for more about the free business tips that we do talk to you next time